Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another anti-character guide. Today, we're going to do Victor. But first off, before we start the guide, I just want to say a huge thanks to you guys. The channel's reached 2k subscribers in like a really short amount of time. So I just want to say a huge thanks to you guys. Really, really appreciate the support and that you guys are really liking the content. So I just wanted to say a massive thanks. So a lot of you have wanted an anti-Victor guide for a while. And here it is. He is very difficult to counter. In this guide, there is a hell of a lot to cover. So I've done my best to kind of condense everything down to make it more, to make it easier to digest, like information wise. But there is quite a lot to uh, to go through in this guide. With the caveat that Victor is very mix up heavy. He has a lot of strings. He has a lot of mix ups, but I will try to cover everything that you need to know in general to counter Victor. There are some really good answers and a lot of the things that he does are not, he's not as plus as you think he is. And actually in some circumstances, he is minus when you think he's plus. Like for instance, when you get staggered by some moves, which you'll see in a minute, you think that you're minus when actually it's your turn to press. So first off, we'll start with general tips, range. Stay mid-range, not too far that you can't step moves, like um, Explosion, and not too close because he has a lot of mix-ups. Generally, I would stay mid-range just because of those reasons, and you still can step. He can do this over and over again, which does a ton of chip damage, too much in my opinion. Nine chip damage is a crazy amount for a plus on block move. Um, like Victor's and this tracks uh, this tracks quite a bit as well but generally we want to stay mid-range against Victor but the way to step is you step right in neutral there are you step left most of his stances which we'll get onto later in the guide but in general you want to step right for the most part there is one move in particular um, which you will need to step left but for the most part you can step all of his moves or most of his moves to the right uh, only try to duck strings when you are absolutely sure that there is a high coming. Like, for instance, the Glock. Uh, only duck those strings when you're absolutely sure because he has so many mix-ups. If you make a mistake, uh, the chances are you're going to eat a lot of damage. So be really, really careful when you try and duck Victor. You do need to duck him in certain circumstances, though. So there is two sides to that, but... For the most part, don't duck unless you're absolutely sure he's going to do a high. Punish unsafe moves. Call them out. He has a lot of moves, a lot of strings that have minus 13, minus 14. He has loads of launch punchable stuff that we will go over. You need to be punishing these things and not let him get away with uh, all of his BS. You really, really need to punish these unsafe moves. Uh, don't get grabbed. His, uh, his grabs. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly which grab it is that's bugged or if there are multiple grabs that bugged, but one or some of the grabs has a bugged uh, throw break window uh, in terms of frames. Try to not get grabbed, that's all I can say. You probably will get grabbed um, at least once per round <laughs> by a Victor if they're playing their cards right and they, uh, they're they smart about how they use their grabs. Hopefully this gets fixed in the next update. Uh, be patient and wait for a mistake. A lot of Victors make mistakes. That's when you launch them, right? He has a lot of unsafe moves. Uh, let's say, for example, you're doing Expiation. The Victor's doing Expiation from, like, miles away. It makes it safe, right? Or, um... Uh, forward, forward, two, which is minus 16. But see how far away he is? He's safe. So be patient, wait for a mistake. Also, most moves that transition to Perfumer are minus on block. Down forward one beats uh, most options for this. See, so he says it's minus five here. Don't try to jab because he has high crushing moves, right? Do a down forward one. If you see a Victor do this a lot, just get ready and down forward one him. There's not actually much he can do here. Okay, now for key moves. I'm going to move on to key moves. One, one, two. They are all high, but they jail. If a Victor does this, uh, wait out the string. And then punish because it's minus 12. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Absolutely have to duck the pistol here. 
And even if you don't, and he gets the whole thing off, right? He is minus seven here. Even though you are stagger like crazy. You see the other victor staggers? He is actually plus seven here. So it is actually your turn after this. Try and get into the habit of um, ducking the pistol here. Because as soon as you duck the pistol, he will still teleport in. So you see, even though I'm not blocking it, he still throws the pistol and still teleports. Still teleports towards you. So you can duck this and then launch him. There we go. And you can also launch him while he's teleporting. Don't be afraid to press when he starts teleporting. It's not like Raven. You can just launch him there and he will get hit out of his teleport. Even though he's not, he doesn't look like he's there. He is, his character is actually there. One to one, another jab string that he has. Minus 12. He always makes this noise. Ooh. <laughs> That's your sound cue that is minus 12. There are a lot of sound cues with Victor you need to get used to. All right, next, down forward 4-2. Whenever you see the knee here, he only has... This is the only extension out of this move. As soon as you see the knee, duck. Duck the pistol, like we said before. Otherwise, he gets a mix-up, right? We always want to duck the pistol. Okay, moving on. Back, 1 plus 2. Safe high. Reaches from a million miles away. Does chip damage as well. And it's a power crush. If a victor's spamming this, you need to uh, duck it or step it. Although stepping it is a little tricky sometimes. Um, it doesn't have much tracking. It's just that it's far advancing, right? Um... But if a victor keeps doing this, duck it. Uh, 4, 3, 2. Minus 13. I see a lot of, lot of victors doing this, especially at lower ranks. Take note, it's minus 13 and punish this. Uh, 4, 2, 2, 2. The ooh la la. That's your sound cue again. Minus 13. He always goes ooh la la. That is your sound cue. You need to punish that. Uh, back 3-1. Right, an interesting thing about this. When he hits you with the butt of the sword, that's when you know it's minus 13 frames or more. He has a couple of moves like this. But the important thing to note here is that when you see the handle of the sword hit you, you know it's minus 13 frames or more. He has another move like this, which is like minus 14 on block with this uh with the butt of the with the handle of the sword but it's minus 13 on block it's really important to note here that every time you see the handle of the sword it's at least minus 13 frames down for two a lot of victors throw this out it's minus 14 you need to take note of this because this is a really key move that a lot of victors uh use minus 14 frame moves you need to punish this or step it a lot of these moves can be stepped by the way in fact nearly all of them can be stepped Forward 2211. Two, See the butt of the gun? Minus 13 frames or more. The butt of the gun. I keep saying the butt of the gun. <laughs> the handle of the sword. Uh, minus 13 frames or more. This is minus uh, 15. And it's very telegraphed, this string. You launch this. Right, these next ones that I'm going to list off, they're all launch, okay? Forward, forward 2 1. Forward 2 2 1 1. We just talked about. Uh, down forward 3 plus 4. This move. It's a good whiff punish for him. And a good uh, 14 frame punish. Minus 17. You have to launch this. Down back 4. Interesting move. Launch on block. And you can only set this to the left. Uh, beware because also on counter hit. I'm sure you've all been hit by this before. Counter hit launcher. But you can only step this to the left. You can't step it to the right. You've got crazy tracking on the right. Up, 1 plus 2. XBO Sean. Minus 19. From point blank, you have to launch this because it's minus 20 or minus 19. If they spam from a distance, you have to step this. Or mid-range, 
So you need to be stepping this. It also does a ton of chip damage. So you need to step this, or if they do it point blank or at the wall, you need to be launching this. Every time he does this, launch him. Up forward four, very telegraphed move. Minus 19, you need to launch this. Forward forward two. Very, very safe. Don't press unnecessarily afterwards. If he does this from range, I think most characters can't launch him. Even if he does it point blank, he still has a crazy pushback. But if you're at the wall, there is no pushback at all. So you must launch him if he does this at the wall. While standing one, minus 16. I bet a lot of you didn't realize that this was minus 16. You have to launch this. Not to be confused with while standing two, which is vertical. The way to tell is horizontal, launch, vertical, safe. Okay, so now uh, we're still going through some key moves, but they're not launch anymore. So forward one, four, forward four, one is a high. Okay. You see this kick? A high is coming. Or forward four, two is mid, mid. The thing about this is this is actually uh, fuzzy ball. Is tricky. You can fuzzy it though. See? But you can actually fuzzy that. Um, just a little bit of information there. If if a victor keeps mi mixing this up and doing nothing but that, <laughs> uh, you can fuzzy that. I know that in reality, when you're actually playing a game, it's very different. Um, very very difficult to fuzzy that I wouldn't fuzzy that in a game but there is an option select there if a victor keeps spamming those two strings uh, down one plus two you might think that he's plus because of the big explosion he is not plus it's your turn he is minus nine uh, forward 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 two while running two if a victor keeps spamming this in your face which a lot of them do try stepping to the right um, otherwise, he will just chip you to death. Look at the amount of chip damage. But yeah, this is a very oppressive move. Try stepping this to the right. It is quite tricky to time it, but you can step this to the right. Forward one plus two. You have to step this if he keeps spamming it, because he can spam it from miles away. Look at the distance. It's crazy. Uh, he is also minus nine, even though you are staggered like crazy. It is your turn. Okay, right, now we're done with the key moves. We're going to move on to some tracking moves. I'm not going to go through like I usually do with uh, showing moves that you can step because pretty much every single other move that's not on the tracking moves list, you can step to the right. Apart from down back four, which you have to step to the left. I will just show you that quickly, actually, before we move on. So, as you can see... I can step this very reliably to the left. I try and step to the right. Catches me every time. No, you cannot step this to the right. This is basically the only move that I would step uh, left instead of right. If a victor keeps doing this and you see it coming, obviously it's a, it's a hard read, um, but you can step this move to the left. It's not actually homing, even though... If you keep trying to step right, you might think it's homing. You can step it to the left quite reliably. Uh, right, moving on, we got tracking moves. So the first tracking move is this string. You see the last hit hits me. You can react to the string and then duck. Okay, if you see this coming, try and duck the last hit. And that is the answer for this string. Because the last two hits... Voice crack. Because the last two hits are high. Right, moving on. So, these are the other tracking moves I have for you. All of these moves do track. But, remember that back-turned one? So, they all track. That only tracks on the last hit, right? So... You can just launch him here. That's a really key thing to remember. Okay, so as you can see, he doesn't have many tracking moves, which is a plus for us. Oh, the other only other thing, which I won't 
demonstrate, but just keep note, is all of his moves from while standing, basically most of them track like crazy. Most of the time it's not a good idea to try and step if he's playing a crouch game, which most victors don't do, but if he is playing like a crouch game, because he does have like a crouch game, uh, like sort of a crouch game, but not really. Um, his while standing moves all track like crazy. Or most of them do, at least. Um, so don't try and track uh, if he's doing while standing attack. Even though most victors will not do that. Right, now moving on. Stances. Right, so lay stance. Generally, you want to step this left. I will show you some moves afterwards, but I just want to go through a couple of things before we do that. Down one plus two from lay stance. This is homing. This is his key low from lay stance. Has a ton of damage. Even though it says it's not homing, it's basically homing. It's like Dragonov's down two. Down two. Tracks quite a bit. You can step this to the left, which I'll show you. Uh, one, one is actually, like we said before, if you remember, when you see the handle of the sword, it's minus 13 frames or more. It's minus 14. So be aware of that one. Uh, one, two, two. Where he does Expulsion, every time he says Expulsion, you launch him. And that also applies to Lay Stance as well. And it's not like he can do it from miles away, because it's part of a string, so you have to launch him here. You can always launch him. Two, even though you stagger, it's your turn. So it's just like the 2 2 2 2. He does this at the end, right? It's your turn. It's that same move. It is your turn here. Uh, and also, beware of the power crush. But note it is minus 14. He's very punishable on a lot of his moves. So punish him for this. Oh, and also, every time you see him teleport, except for the mid-string one, except for this one, where it's very clear that he's teleporting from above, every time you see a teleport, duck. Every time. He has two options here. He has one plus two. Goes into teleport. Or one one plus two. You duck these. You absolutely duck these. These are the only times. Where he'll like teleport like this. You'll either do a jab and teleport. Or he'll just teleport. This is when you duck. Um, so now I'm going to show you all of the uh, moves from lay stance. And show you that you can step them to the left. So these are some moves uh, from Lay Stance. I'm stepping to the right. Actually, you can step these either way. Although it does track fair, right? But I generally step to the left. But generally, these moves are super linear. See, I'm even walking before he's even started the move from Lay Stance. I start sidewalking. Although that move did actually clip me. I start sidewalking before I even see him go into lay stance, right? I'm just immediately sidewalking left. And for the most part, you can completely step everything. Okay, uh, moving on, we have Perfumer. This stance, where he goes shoot, shoot, shoot. Again, you want to step left. Beware that he can hold down forward for while standing moves. It's like an easy mode... Uh, Crouch dash, right? Like a Mishima. It's a bit like Rainer's down forward from uh, Heaven's Wrath. But anyway, you get uh, he gets while standing moves if he holds down forward there. And it's super evasive as well. So be careful of that, uh, of jabbing when he's in Perfumer, is what I'll say. Uh, from Perfumer, he has a homing. So beware of stepping. If the victor you're playing against is aware of you stepping a lot, and he starts throwing this out, try and... Um, Punish him for using strings like uh, 2 2 1 plus 2, which is minus 13. And he always goes to Shutter Tia. He always says that. Again, sound cues with Victor, very important. I know this is a lot of information, but he is a very difficult character and complicated character to counter. He also has a safe. Heat Engager from here. He has this low, right? Which is minus 13. 
you always need to be aware that this is punishable. But not launch punishable. A lot of you might think this is launch punishable. It's not. It's only minus 13. But definitely punish him for that one. He doesn't have many moves from Perfumer. But he does have some. And I'm even stepping right here. But that move will track you, okay? So, again, whenever he goes into stance, step left. This is actually true for a lot of characters as well. Like Alisa, for example, with her chainsaws. And uh, boot and dual boot. You always want to step left. Be careful of timing when you step. Because some strings will turn around like that. That was good timing, right? But you can't step these to the left. As you can see. So, Perfuma, just like um, Lay Stance, you step everything to the left. Apart from a couple of moves, Perfuma 4 is homing. And with Lay Stance, uh, down 1 plus 2 is treat it as homing. Okay. So, last but not least, we'll move on to when he's in heat. Okay, so the first move out of heat is down back 1 plus 2. This move. And when he's not in heat, it does not exist. So there's an only in heat attack that he has. It is uh, very linear. Okay, <laughs> there we go. It's very, very linear. You can set this to the left or to the right. Honestly, you want to set this to the right like everything else in the neutral. Don't try and complicate things. Uh, always step this one to the right, but it's very, very linear. Uh, the next move we have is Excalibur, right? This is the proper Expulsion. Now watch this, okay? So normally, with Expulsion, it reaches from a million miles away, right? It still reaches from really far away and does a ton of chip damage, 12 chip damage. So about, you know, three meters away, right? Now watch this. When he's in heat, up 1 plus 2 reaches from across <laughs> the screen. And that is no exaggeration. Like, he really does uh, reach from across the screen. So if he keeps doing this in heat, you should be stepping him. Okay, there we go. There we go. You can step this to the right. It is quite hard to time. What I would do is, if you're not sure, is sidestep block. We want to be doing that anyway. But sidestep and then block, just in case you miss. And then, obviously, punish him for it, right? There we go, punish. And the heat smash is low. So, you are plus 15 when you block this. So... Also, note the range actually isn't that crazy. And it's minus 15 for him, so we need to be launching that. You can step it to the left. I wonder if you can step it to the right. You can step it to the right as well. Although, it makes it a bit awkward. I mean, you can just run up and punish him, right? Um, but yeah. I basically covers everything. Okay, stop. Sorry, Victor, stop, man. I'm ending my video. That basically covers everything the Victor has, which I can think of uh, to help you guys out with a Victor matchup. I know he's very tough to go against. There has been a lot in this guy to uh, wrap your head around. Victor is quite complicated, um, but I hope that most of what I've said makes sense. Those key moves, like which I mentioned at the beginning, are really important. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're still having trouble with Victor. I will still probably be having trouble with Victor, to be honest. I find it very difficult to counter in the game. He is really, really tricky to counter in this game, truth being told. So try not to get frustrated. I know it's difficult going against Victors. But uh, yeah, I hope this guide helped. And uh, take care and I will see you all in the next one.